Well, some of Oklahoma's strongest industries have started from the ground up. And that concept takes on a whole new meaning when it comes to nanotechnology, a new industry in Oklahoma that creates products literally invisible to the human eye. Scientists believe by working at the smallest levels, they can make large strides in everything from fighting disease to improving our environment, and in doing so, create an important new industry in Oklahoma. Joining me now from one of these innovative companies is our Brian Bendeley. Well, Rob, nanotechnology is definitely the science of the small. If you can imagine, scientists are working on products that are so small that a human hair or the fuzz in this microphone is still 80,000 times larger than the nanoparticles. And it's a technology that many companies in Oklahoma, like Southwest Nanotechnology, believe could very well be the future. If there's a gram of nanotubes, that means there's a billion nanotubes. And they all fit these into these little bottles. Sasha well. Down is a development engineer at Southwest Nanotechnology in Norman, Oklahoma, right and now, says the complicated process powder. all starts with a grain of sand and carbon monoxide gases. The sand particles are where they're actually grown. So the carbon comes from the gas, attaches to the sand particle, and the nanotube grows as more and more carbon atoms are attached to the sand thus creating carbon nanotubes, a structure that is changing the way we create a number of products, from coatings to plastics. CEO David Arthur. The carbon nanotubes are also the strongest, stiffest materials known to mankind. So if you want to make a, a plastic material really strong and stiff and tough, put carbon nanotubes in them. If you want to make a plastic material which usually doesn't conduct electricity, conduct electricity, put carbon nanotubes in them. The company was founded in 2001, and thanks to a process designed at Oklahoma University, Southwest Nanotechnology now has the ability to create a variety of carbon nanotubes from one process that can easily be changed to fit the customer's needs. One thing that sets us apart is that we tailor the carbon nanotubes for the application, because as you point out, not, not one tube structure will, will be best for all applications. So we control the tube structure, and then we put it in a product form, a physical form that's easy to use. Making quality the utmost importance, especially since this technology can be used in medicine. It's naturally compatible with the body. The body will not attack the carbon nanotubes. Creating endless possibilities for the future of medicine. If you can get the nanotube to attach by functionalizing it, like you say, <clears throat> the, you could simply just shine light on it and the only thing that will absorb that light, blood and tissue will be transparent to that wavelength of light, um, but the nanotube will absorb it and heat up the cell it's attached to and kill it. So that's a much more humane way of treating cancer. So while Southwest is growing its technology from the pilot stage, more and more nano products are appearing in the marketplace. Jim Mason with the Oklahoma Nanotechnology Initiative. Oklahoma is a, is a state that is focusing on applications of nanotechnology so that existing companies can take whatever product they make and improve it with a nanotech process. And that can be anything from if you manufacture something like this tennis racket, uh, we can make it lighter, stronger, better, or it could be uh, something like this car wax, which uh, is used by, uh, to fill in nanoparticles on a car makes a very nice uh, shine on the car wax. So companies like Southwest Nanotechnology that create the nanotubes become essential to bringing in more business to the state. We think in Oklahoma that we can help Oklahoma companies do this now and be world leaders. It gives them a competitive advantage. If my product is lighter, cheaper, faster, stronger, then perhaps it will be uh, the first to market and therefore the winners. And that is where Southwest Nanotechnology is headed with plans to build a facility that will hold a scalable production process able to meet industry needs. And no company has been in a position until now to, to deliver both the quantity and the consistency uh, like we're able to do. All of which could make Oklahoma the place for nanotechnology. So, Brian, any growth plans for Southwest Nanotechnology? Well, Rob, directly behind me is the new 15,000 square foot facility that Southwest Nanotechnology will be moving to in April, and they hope to be reaching commercial production by June, all of which means more economic growth for Oklahoma. Thank you, Brian.